Hi again, it's Ashanti Boo and I'm back with another tutorial. Now this is another makeup tutorial but it's not, I wouldn't really call it a makeup tutorial but it's going to be really different. Not different in like a complicated way but it's going to be different because I'm going to be using a new tool. Instead of using the paintbrush tool that we always use, this tool right here. Sorry, this tool that we always use. I'm gonna be using the airbrush tool. This tool right here. It looks just like an airbrush. And the reason that I change tools is because I feel like the paintbrush tool is a good tool, but I feel like it takes too much time and it doesn't really make it as neat as possible as I want it to be. And that's where the airbrush tool is much better. It takes less time. And I'm gonna show you the difference. If you have never used the airbrush tool, you better start using it now. Cause <laughs> this is the tool I'm gonna be using from now on when I do makeup tutorials. So it's just learn how to use them. Now this is the paintbrush tool. See? And I'm going to switch. Now this is the airbrush tool. Look at that. Look at the difference. It's a big difference. And this is why I think it's better. Because look at this. This looks like more of like what makeup is supposed to look like on a doll. Or anything. Whatever. When you're editing something, that's what it's supposed to look like. So, this doll here that I have right now, this is the doll that I'm going to be using for like, I wouldn't say all, but mostly all my tutorials. Um, and if you want this doll, I'm going to post it in the description box so you can copy it and save it. You don't need to credit me for this, for this doll. So, um... So this is going to be like a little quick makeup tutorial. Well, not really a tutorial, but just to see the difference between the paintbrush tool and the airbrush tool. So, I'm going to zoom in to about 400% because I really want you guys to see it. And I'm going to create a new layer just to because I don't want it on a doll's face. I never use anything exactly on the doll's face so always use always create new layers so I'm gonna use black I'm gonna do one eye and I'll show you the thin the final uh, product when I am done now I also forgot to tell you to switch your brush we're using the soft brush that's what makes it really, really look better. It's when you soft brush with the airbrush tool. Can't get no better than that. Now look, look how nice that's coming about. Look how nice that's coming about. That looks really, that looks neat. That looks really good. And we just started. We haven't even did anything yet. And I'm just gonna smudge this forward. Up and forward. And this, you really don't have to erase. You may want to erase like right here, but you really don't have to erase. And look how much time that took. That took less than like 40 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. But this is what I'm talking about. I think this is such a, a way better tool to use. So I'm going in with the white. And if you, if you stay, if you put pressure, the darker the color will be. So you can, if you want it darker, you don't have to use the paint brush tool. You could just stay at the place you're at and just apply pressure. This is really not the best makeup that I'm doing. But this is just to show you the difference and how how neat it looks 
and um, I have a lot of tutorials coming up that I'm going to be doing, especially this week. A lot of tutorials. So, um, I'm going to be doing like, for now, doing like tutorials, maybe like three days of tutorials doing um, makeup inspired by, you know, fashion um, couture makeup looks that you see in like fashion shows such as for example I'll do one Alice of the McQueen or I'll do one for Pucci, um, Gucci, um, Dior, just a, just a random a bunch of makeup looks that I took, stole ideas from. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial and I think this is much better. I'm going to zoom out let you guys see it. I think this is much better and it comes out way neater and we didn't have to erase a lot we didn't erase that much so for now I'm gonna be using the airbrush tool only and I want you guys to get comfortable with using this and if you have any questions or comments or anything like that you can write them on YouTube or you can just write me on star doll and my name is Ashanti Boo on Starla and I'll post the link up so you can contact me. By the way, I do not accept the friend request at all. I'm not gonna do it for a while because it seems like when I add people, they they, they I add them and then they just like don't talk to me. Like not that I'm being like you know over the top about it, but you know I just got rid of a lot of people. I don't accept non-superstars because of like the hacking and the scamming situation so if you are a non-superstar I'm sorry but but don't take it personally because I'm not accepting anybody anymore um, I will only answer questions that are in my guest book um, besides if you're my friend already you can send me a message but for most people for the most part it will be in my guest book and I want to thank you for watching and I will be posting another tutorial after this one so have a nice day.